Yeah, these are the five measures are there guys. As of now, I have taken only five measures. Okay. Product ID, location ID, date ID, sales quantity, sales amount. So, this is my table. So, I told these are the foreign keys, business keys, foreign keys, date ID. And these are will be numerical data, quantity. So, on particular day, on particular day, particular product, particular location, particular product, how many sales happen? What is the quantity is sold? What is the amount we got? Sales amount. So, like that, they are going to generate the aggregation here. Right? But, so, this is the fact table. This we call as the facts, measures. Fact measures we call as. The, this is the fact table. Under the fact table, these two are the fact measures. These are the foreign keys. Three are the foreign keys. And these two will be fact measures. These two will be fact measures. So, this is a numerical data. Okay. Now, come to the other two fact means, what are the dimensions are there here? Here, how many dimensions are there? As of now, three dimensions are there. What are the dimensions are there in the fact table? By using this dimension table, we can able to sum up all of the this. Okay. So, for example, take the quantity. The fact measure is going to sum up with all of the dimensions in a fact table. Means we have to sum based on the product ID, we can able to sum, location ID, we can able to sum, date ID, we can able to sum. If we able to sum all of the dimensions in a fact table, then those kind of fact measures is called as a additive fact. So I am going to explain in the in detail. Yeah. So here the fact. What I told you guys, the fact sales, right? This is the date ID. I have taken the date ID. This is the location ID. Location ID. And this is the product ID. Okay. These are the key foreign keys. And then quantity. And then amount. These are the two measures. Okay, fact we call as a fact measures. Okay, are you able to see this one right? Size, font size, all these things. Yes, sir. Yeah. So particular day, maybe you can take on yesterday date. Ten zero one twenty twenty one. 10 0 1 20, 20, 20. Location store one. Yes one. Product P1. Okay. On particular day to on particular location on product one. So two are the quantity sold on the two. Two quantity sold. What is the amount? Maybe thousand rupees. It's happened the sold by thousand rupees. Two quantities are sold by thousand. Okay. Now I am going to take same P2 amount on the same location on same day. Okay, another another product sold by one, so maybe eight hundred. Okay, so P3 sold by three items, so two thousand. So this is my amount. It's happened on day on particular day. The transaction has happened like this. So P1 item product item, the two items are sold two quantities. The total amount we got 1000 rupees. So now I want, so all the products, what is my total sales? Means what you are going to do, guys? If I want, what is the sales happen? All the products, what you are going to do? Addition, adding. You have to add, right? So yes, sir. The three products we have to sold means, so how many total items are sold here? 3 to 5, 6 items. Okay. I am going to sum up. Then only I can able to calculate the what is my total quantities are sold. Or what is the amount I got? Total amount. Summation. The 3,800 I got. The same way it's happened the same thing on the same day S2 also. S2 also it's happened. Store 2. 
the product one is happen one sales two products three products so something 500 just these are the example rough example guys thousand and three thousand okay so like that i need to calculate my all the stores how many products are sold what you are going to do you have to sum all those things right yes sir so what is my amount 8300 happen from the two stores my total products are sold i got 8300 and i i sold by 12 products i sold on the two stores yeah, like that i am going to calculate the by using the product wise i am going to calculate but location wise i can able to calculate what is my two store sales means what you have to tell so i am going to sum up this thing these two then i can tell the total sales will be happen under 8300 on the two stores so i'm going to sum up by based on the product wise i'm going to sum based on the location wise i'm going to sum if you want next day so same thing happen on the last day 11th 11th day so if i want weekly sales i want to find out the weekly what is my two day sales means you have to sum again the two day sales right so 16,000. So here will be 24. So, so like that, I am by using the date wise, I am going to sum the these measures. Location wise, I am going to sum the these two measures. Product wise, I am going to sum. So in a fact table, in a fact table, these two are the fact measures. Okay. These two are the fact measures. So what are, any fact measure is going to sum by using all of the dimensions in a fact table here the five or ten dimensions are there so for each dimension table if i am going to sum that measure then these kind of measures we called as a additive facts these kind of fact measures we called as a additive facts clear guys the definition if you want additive facts are facts that can be summed up through all of the dimensions in a fact table. Whatever the measure you are going to take, fact measure, but that measure is going to sum up with the what are the dimension keys are there in the fact table. If we can able to sum all of the dimensions, those kind of facts we call as a additive facts. Clear, guys? Clear? Any doubt here? Yes. So, for example, we take the quantity is a measure, fact measure. This measure, I am going to sum what are the dimension keys are there in the fact table. I can able to sum all of the dimensions. So, product wise, I am going to sum the quantity. Location wise, I can able to sum the quantity. Date wise, I can able to sum the quantity. If your customer is there, for example, customer ID also there. So it has to be summed the based on the customer ID also. Okay. So the customer ID. So who is the customer? So how many customer all the customer wise, what did the sales happen? Then I can able to sum the quantity. Okay. So I can able to sum the fact measure. So what are the available in the dimensions in the fact table? So that kind of facts we call as a additive facts. We can able to sum all of the dimensions in a fact table those kind of facts measures we call as a facts we call as a additive facts okay this is the additive fact i'm going to share you this screen these are the additive additive facts here what are the additive facts guys quantity and amount is the additive fact these two are the additive facts okay clear next we have the one more fact measure is there that is the semi additive one more measure is there that is the semi additive remove this one take the same example same example so here i am going to take the fat sales measure right fat sales measure sales here I am going to explain you 
added semi added to fact with the fact underscore inventory fact underscore inventory table so before going to tell the fact underscore inventory i am going to general example the current balance i am going to explain then i am going to explain the fact inventory table you can easily understand so the definition of the semi additive means here all of the dimensions we are able to sum right but here few of the dimensions we can able to sum but but others we can't able to sum by using the other dimensions those kind of fact measures we call as a semi additive measures okay some measures we can able to sum for some dimensions we can able to calculate but some dimensions we can't able to calculate the sum those kind of measures we call as a semi additive facts okay the best example i'm going to explain for example take your account so your account will be 10 so i'm going to take 9 01 2021 20, okay 0901 2022 sorry so 2022 okay so account number one a1 you have the how much amount is there beginning of the balance okay at the morning so day day started you have the 10,000 is there okay in your account guys 